Hey guys, it's Nick the Booksmith. Welcome back, welcome back. Today's project is inspired by something I made several years ago, probably four years ago. I made this textile folio and it's just basically a folder fabric on the inside and the outside and then a variety of pockets on the inside. And I thought maybe this would be a cool thing to show you guys. Maybe you would like to make yourself something like this as well. I think they're kind of cool. You can use them for all kinds of things. Perhaps you could keep stationery in here if you like to write. Friends and family, you could keep your envelopes and stamps and paper and all kinds of things in here. Or maybe you're going to be sending some snapshots for the year that you took and you printed them out and you want to send some to grandma. Wouldn't this be a cool way to fill with all kinds of pictures so that when they get this in the mail, then they can open it up and it's just filled with everybody that they love that they haven't been able to see in a while. Maybe you have an ephemera pen pal where you exchange ephemera back and forth. And because these are very light, they shouldn't cost too much to send. But think of all the ephemera you could fill up in here. And then your pen pal gets to keep the folder for using for all kinds of other things. The one we're gonna be making today is, is this one, and it's called the Granny Chic Folio, and it's just made from some old upholstery fabric. So if you're gonna be Granny Chic, think 1950s, 1960s couch fabric. That is your inspiration. And on this one, I ended up filling it with all kinds of goodies to look at just to show you some of the possibilities that you could add into the pockets. Maybe you have an older kiddo that is doing some schooling from home that would appreciate something like this. It could be part of a home ec class. If, do they still teach home ec? Sadly, I don't think they do much anymore, but anyway. <laughs> Maybe somebody is wanting to learn paper crafting or some sewing because there is sewing involved if you want to add it. It's optional. You don't have to sew. You can glue it all if you want. Maybe this kiddo would like to make one for each class that they are taking right now for the year. Keep all their stuff in there. The um, size that I made this is, uh, you'll see it in the video, I kind of give you a general estimation of the size that I did this, but size is irrelevant because you could make it as large or as small as you wanted to. You could make teeny tiny ones if you wanted to or gigantic huge ones. That part is, will be totally up to you. I show you how to make this configuration of pockets, but feel free to add more or take some away or make different shapes, whatever floats your boater. Another option, I did not do this in the video, but another option would be a trifold folio, and this is one I made out of some pretty cool upholstery fabric. And then I put an eyelet through the little closure flap, and this is some of the seam binders ribbon that I hand dyed in a gorgeous copper and browns and goldens, and I thought it went real well with, with this fabric. And then I did not add any anything to the inside, but this might give you a better view of the pocket configuration that we do while making the one that we're going to make in the video next. So this kind of shows you just some different different layers that you can do and maybe you will want to move that around. We just don't do this part, but I think you can figure this out. Once you see the video, it'll be a no-brainer. You'll go, oh, I'll just add the, yeah, because so, it's just, this is just the extra thing the extra thing it is. And then I added the eyelet so that I could close it. And just wrap the seam binding around and give it an old tie. And I'm, There's all kinds of ways you could use elastics if you wanted to use an elastic. This matched the fabric so awesome I decided that it just needed to be just a tie. All right, guys, I will let you go for now and let you see the making of the Granny Chic Folio. I hope everybody is having a 
fantastic week. That is it for me, but I will see you really, really soon in the next video. Bye guys.